Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to make a quick video discussing uh, my game room and just some general updates for the uh, channel. Now, as you guys know, I haven't been posting a lot of real playthrough stuff that I started at the time, like Resident Evil 5, Battlefield 3, uh, Armageddon Conquest, and all that. And I have it all, like, done for the most part. It's just actually saving it and putting it on YouTube. Which is kind of stuff I haven't had time for. As you guys know, I've moved. Um, I moved to Texas and all that. So, um, I'm in a different house. I had to move some of my stuff. I didn't get to move everything. But, um, beyond that, I uh, took a while to even get game uh, systems set up. It took me a while just to, you know, set everything up. And I still don't have everything set up. A lot of it's still packed in boxes. I'm going to show you guys this room. It's a, a wreck, and I do apologize, but it, this is how it was. I didn't make it a wreck, uh, with, with the exception of the games that are sort of piled up, because I don't have a shelf to put them on at the moment. I'm still getting to moving some things around and all that, but I figured I'd update you on this game room that I have now. Um, my It's not like I'm rich or anything. Like I have a game room. You see that? I've got my own personal game room. It's my other room. It just has enough space for basically a bed and a little dresser thing for clothes. That's it. Like, my room's not really that big. Um, and it's got, like, a light and stuff. But this room has a lot of stuff, too. But it's stuff that's just junk, basically. It's just, like, boxes and old DVD players. Or a microwave is even in here. A painting that's sealed up. A ladder. Just a bunch of junk stuff that basically I've cleared a path for a hallway, uh, or, or a walkway, I should say, and that's pretty much it. I made a little walkway here, and now I can walk in here and sit on a chair and... Wait a minute. Let me see if I can do it. Now... I'll try not to do that again, but yes, this is the squeaky chair I have. So if you ever get in a Skype call with me and talk to me and wondering what that squeaky chair is, yeah. And another thing, people want to talk to me on PSN. I've got Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition running in the background right now on replay, just so I can have something to play while I'm sitting here talking. Hey, a soccer match. Oh, that's not me. They picked Shinku Adokin, and I don't like that. But yeah. Uh, you might have seen me play. Uh, I played quite a few soccer matches last night and did pretty good. I'm going to post a compilation of those matches. I have some stuff with a friend of mine, uh, Cross Shadow, who is known as the Real Ibuki here on YouTube. Um, we had some matches going on. i got to post those. Um, we had some pretty funny stuff with Akuma going on. So It's unfortunate I can't talk to you guys over... PSN. If you ever do want to talk to me, though, just add me on Skype. For the most part, I won't care. If you do see me on Do Not Disturb, though, it doesn't mean you can't talk to me. Uh, you can. It's The only reason I have it like that is because Skype, the little bleep noise Skype makes every time I get a message. Um, I have my headphones set up for my gaming setup, uh, like with, with the uh, sound and stuff, because I don't have surround sound or anything. But I can get simulated surround sound with a headset. Plus, I play really late at night, and I can't have a really nice sound system going because I'll wake people up uh, downstairs and stuff. But I've got Super Street Fighter 4 here in the background. Um, I'll show you like this whole setup. If you see some junk back here, it's because I ate a piece of cake, and uh, I haven't thrown it away. And this ice cream thing was from like three or four days ago. I just, I just threw it away. There are a couple bags on the floor, a couple soda things from when I'd go out to eat and stuff like that. Yeah, the weight loss thing probably isn't working too well eating all that shit. But anyway, uh, oh, and I have a little french fry container from Muya. I got a new hat, too. Yeah, I got a little stack of Blu-rays here. Show you that. You guys have seen it, sort of, already, but... I got this stack of Blu-rays here. I haven't even done, uh, you know, the things I bought today or whatever. I've got a full stack of Blu-rays here I bought. 
I bought at least one new game. Uh, I just haven't had time to make the video, and I figured I'd shoot this, because I'm still, I've been kind of working on this game room. I mean, it took me a while to to get this even prepared to set up. I had to have a, uh, a light fixture up here, which, again, I'll show you guys all this here in a second. But I had to get a light fixture all set up, because there was a light in here that didn't work, or the fan or something didn't work. And so that had to be worked on. That took at least a week before I could even get that finished. And then by the time I moved in here, all I had was this television, which was in my old room, but it wasn't even hooked up. It has no television on it, just my game system, which is no problem. That's what I enjoy uh, playing and all that. I, that's really all I do with it is play PS3. Um, I've got my Xbox over here. Again, I'll show you all this stuff here in a minute. I've got some games piled up, and i got some stuff in this chair. There's a chair here, but I don't think it's as comfortable as this chair. I just need some WD-40 for this chair. And I don't know why it squeaks. I was just sitting in it one day, and I started reclining back, and it started squeaking really loud, and everyone's like, dude, why is your chair squeak? And then I really don't have a way to explain it. I'm looking over here to see if there's anything I could show you guys. Uh, I'll show you the clutter, too. I'll show you what I'm still working on. And I hope you don't think this is like the Chris Chan house tour of, of, of rooms. Uh, it's not like that. It's just this room was never, ever used. You know, nobody lived here except for my mom and my stepdad, who I currently live with. And, um, yeah, so this room was just throwing, like, boxes and, you know, old electronics and junk equipment and stuff like that. It just gets put in here. Um... We have kind of high ceilings, so we have a ladder to change all the light bulbs and stuff. Uh, I would say if I personally had a house like this, I wouldn't have that because I think that would be very annoying. Uh, another thing that's cool, I've got like a little remote here for this fan. So like if I want to turn on the light, I can do that and turn it off. I can turn the fan. These, these are for the fan. I don't really use it that much, though. I mean, I use it to turn it on, but... You know, it's I I'm not lazy enough to where I would flip a switch. I mean, it's virtually no different, but it just sits right here. So if I ever need to grab it, I can. But I'll go ahead and get up and show you this stuff. The update for the channel. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. The game room and uh, I will have some stuff coming up. It's just my hard drive for the first time on this Toshiba laptop filled up. And uh, I need to clear it out with my external, which is over here. Um, I'll show you guys that. Some of you guys haven't seen a lot of this stuff. You know, this television, this isn't my television. This is not the Vizio. This is, or the, this is not the 22-inch Vizio. This is the 32-inch Vizio that was just sitting here at the house, and I got it given to me because they have better TVs. They've got Sony Bravias and stuff, and... You know, I'm fine with this TV. I think this TV has excellent sound. And it's got a good picture quality, too. So I'm going to get up now, and I'm going to show you what I'm kind of working with. And, I'm, I'm again, I do apologize if it looks like trash. Uh, again, I just came in here, and this is how it looks. You know, I've just cleared a little walkway so I can walk in here. I don't even have, like, this thing set up properly. I'll show you guys this now. There's storage tubs under this. And I basically just sat my laptop on top and threw the webcam on it and vlog like this. I'd like to get a tripod or at least a stand or something that I could set up. I don't even have the poster set up. I'm going to show you guys this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So right here, this is the laptop. This is where I was sitting and talking to you guys. As you can see, the little preview window. If you're, you're looking at it, see so like, Ooh. okay, enough of that. Back there, or back in there, is my room. So, yeah, that door right there that leads into my room, it's very small. I'll show you guys this probably another time. But uh, here's this ladder I was talking to you guys about. This is basically what it looks like. You walk in, and maybe maybe this would be better. I don't know how, how well this will work, but anyway, it's like, okay, don't fall over, laptop. Okay, it's like, and you walk in, and it's like, holy crap, look at all that stuff. Look at all that. And then this doesn't open all the way in like this. Yeah, there's a vacuum right there. Vacuum. And there's the ladder, a painting, 
Here's all this jumbled crap. The only thing that I added to this mess were those three water bottles and those two soda drinks, which I actually put on the floor because that bag there was supposed to, uh, supposed to throw all my trash in there, and I got sidetracked like normal, and uh, I forgot to do it. Um, right here is plug-in. I did have limited plug-ins, and then I found this really epic power strip down here, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay, there I can actually see the preview window now. But yeah, this is a bag where I used to keep all my flash drives and stuff when I was in school. All my flash drives are still in there. Uh, I took them out recently because I had to take some stuff. and I wanted to swap some music. I got off PSN and put them on my flash drive. That flash drive right there is a free flash drive that I got. Uh, there we go. This is really hard to do when you can't see what you're filming. But that's my flash drive. I was downloading a bunch of Street Fighter videos, like trailers and promos and stuff. I was going to post them on YouTube if they didn't care. Um, I've got this cord here, which is actually for my tournament stick, which is in the other room, because I had this all hooked up to the 46-inch Bravia uh, until I could actually get this room set up. And then since then, that stuff's still been in there. But the PS3... Is right there. The games here. Here's what we got here. Here's the squeaky chair. The squeaky chair that I've been sitting in. Okay, now I'm gonna push back on it. Oh, oops. And then whenever I let up, it goes. <laughs> so yeah, but it does it a lot longer than that. Uh, over here, got all this junk and crap that just has never been moved. A bunch of model kits. Here's a nice bookshelf. Which I don't know if anybody reads books here, but there's a big ass bookshelf. Back in here is this closet with a whole bunch of other model kits. It's probably like a thousand dollars worth of model kits, and that's just me guessing. Just in this room alone. I don't know how much model kits are, I'm sure they're pretty expensive, but when I see big, big, big model kits like that, I see all these like layouts and maps and a printer and all these boxes back in there and uh yeah there's just a whole bunch of stuff here there's a little Muya prize bag thing up thing i was talking about again this it's just a wreck and i just never really had time to fix it up the way i want to because i can't move any of this stuff because none of it's mine and i apologize if, oh here this is the window i have and this window when i look out of it um, I can see that the sun comes up, so whenever I tell you guys, like, oh yeah, you know, I'm watching the sun come up, because I can see right out this window. Uh, but here's the game that I have. The laptop is pulling really hard. Uh, I'm not going to do this because if it's working correctly. Okay, there we go. I got Street Fighter, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which I was playing with Uber Black Man, which is pretty fun. Better TV, which I am having more reviews of that. I'm making notes on that right now. I actually did one for Street Fighter 2D Episode 4. I just gotta make the video. Dante's Inferno. Been trophy horror and I'm not very hard. Street Fighter 4, I actually plan to get some footage for this for YouTube. I have side videos. I'm probably gonna do all the rival battles. I'll probably do them in Super, just because there's more characters and I can keep track a little easier. If I can hybrid, I can actually play it against the rest of the games. Heavy Rain, Uncharted. I haven't played any of these. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I haven't played any of these. Uh, King of Fighters 12. So yeah, I haven't played any of these beyond the Street Fighter games. Um, and the stuff over here, I'll show you that. In case you're wondering what I was talking about, I've got a recorder. should actually be like that. There we go. Roughly the order I want to play games in. I'll let's watch those movies. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's see, here's the chair, here's the PS3 controller. I've been trucking on this controller for two years. It still works somehow. I don't know how, but it does. My new. I'm gonna sit down here. So I'll show you this. This is the other chair. And there's all the extra stuff that I have laying here. I have one Super Nintendo game, my original copy of Street Fighter II The World Warrior, which I captured footage from about two months ago. 
So if I ever wanted to make the review, I'll sit down and make it. I pre-planned some of these things like this. So, yeah. Uh, I got a Street Fighter Cross Tekken Collectors. You've seen my unboxing of that. Oh, you're probably wondering what this Mortal Kombat thing is. I'll show you that in a second. Here's Bioshock. I uh, did a playthrough of that. Probably do like hard and all that eventually. And Giant Sigma. Premiere video. Holy crap. And uh, first limit. Which I actually plan on playing. And somebody's here at the house. What do you know? My parents weren't here before. Uh, Bioshock 2. And Anatica. Which I actually plan on playing this for YouTube. Because it's a fun game. Even though it's cheap and budget. This is a, I'm going to close the door real quick, one second. Alright, I didn't want somebody, I'm sure someone will interrupt me in a video, I'll jump cut and edit this video, but this is a Mortal Kombat magazine, gamer, gamer magazine apparently, the official game magazine of Best Buy. I bought this back before MK9 came out, because I thought it looked cool. On the back... We got Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition when the 3DS launched, which was, I think, in March. But I, I played this on launch on that 3DS, and I smoked the game. And it was very, very fun. Uh, it's one of the reasons I want a 3DS over a Vita. Um, so yeah, you saw that. Uh, here's the other area. And then here, oh, stack of stuff. I'm not going to show you the Blu-rays, unless you already seen one of them. They do, but I'm not going to show you all the Blu-rays. Some of them you've seen, some of them you haven't seen. And I want to keep it surprised. Those of you who watch the next things I bought today. Uh, Street Fighter, which I plan at whoops. Street Fighter, yeah, this is very, very annoying trying to do this with a webcam, but Street Fighter. I plan on reviewing that at some point. There's no footage because of copyright, and I don't want to risk taking my channel down for a little bit of professionality of it uh, Saw, I still have not watched this. I opened it, but I didn't watch it. This is very, very annoying. I'll probably show you all that's about talking about it, and it's probably not even in frame. I got MK9, which, uh, yeah, I have the collectors, but it's back at home. So, yeah, I didn't bring that with me. I didn't have enough room to bring everything, so I brought the game at least. But the collectors is back home. Um, still in the box and everything, but it's back home. I still have not opened the statues of it because I know they're a pain to put back in. Battlefield Three. I play Battle. Oops, play Battlefield Three a lot. You guys know how much I like Battlefield, so yeah, I play Battlefield a lot. I won't show you the next game unless you just happen to peer at it. It's another thing for things I bought today. Put that over there. Bad Company 2. I still have other games. These are not all my PS3 games. Uh, a lot of them are boxed up or packed away. And some of them are back up home. Not very many of them. Probably about four of them. But, yeah. Battlefield Bad Company 2. The thing that pretty much started me on Battlefield. Or multiplayer in Battlefield. MK vs. DC. Which is what I've been reporting from. Um. Good game. I'm probably going to make a video on it sometime discussing how underrated it is and how people need to not judge it so hard. It's really a good game. Uh, yeah, I've got opinions on so many things, but I want to get this room set up before I actually give my opinions on all of these things. And the last three games here, Dead Island Game of the Year Edition, which I haven't played too much. I've been playing it co-op. I've got a glitch video coming up and Everybody, well, for like two weeks, two or three weeks, people have been asking me about it. And I have it, I just have not finished editing it. I have no time to edit it because I'm doing titles and stuff over the video. And I found the font or something close to the Dead Island font, which is pretty cool, but yeah, it's just taken me a while to get to some of these things. The last couple things here Blaze Blue, Calamity Trigger, which I plan on doing some more trophies on and just playing the game in general. I don't know if there will be any more videos of this, but yeah, I'll probably have to sound boring right now, but yeah, I'm starting to kind of get tired of making this video because it's just, 
it's so redundant and stuff you've seen and I can't see how any of you have gotten this far, but thanks if you have. Resident Evil 5, I've already finished this playthrough. I have a, an issue with the last mission. I will talk about that when we get to it. I just have to save a lot of these videos. Again, that's one of the biggest problems with making these videos is editing and rendering them and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and set these two of these back. One of them I keep sealed for anonymity's sake until I get to the playthrough or not the playthrough but the video. Oh, a PSN card. I also bought that recently. And I've already used it so it's not like if I showed you the code it wouldn't matter because you wouldn't be able to use it. And I figured I'd just make this as a video to just show you guys, you know, what I've been up to, why I've been posting the videos I have, what it's been like moving, and all that. Here's all my notes for Street Fighter 2V, Episode 4. I actually made notes this time. Normally, I just did them off the top of my head. Uh, I'm trying to make notes on them to make them flow a little better. Plus, I can't remember everything, so this is when it starts to get to the minor details of things to where it's not mainstream characters and stuff. So I kind of have to write stuff down. Down here is just a bunch of wires and stuff. Nothing too interesting. An Xbox wire, which that controller sucks, man. The packs on those. I hate Xbox controllers. I'm not a fan of Xbox. If you guys have ever talked to me, you know I don't really care for Xbox that much. Um, I pretty much just bought Xbox for Gears of War. I, I, I can't say that. I bought Xbox because I hated PlayStation at one time. And I've always loved PlayStation, but when my first PS3 broke, I hated PlayStation for a while, and I rebelled against it for about a year or two. And so I bought Xbox, and I sold everything I owned PlayStation, aside from PS2, because that's still one of my favorite systems. And, yeah, it wasn't really a mainstream console back then. There's the Xbox. Yep, that's the Xbox. I'll show you the games over here and end this video, because I'm sure you guys are bored to tears, because I haven't paid my phone bill in 300 years. See what I did there? Anyway, Uncharted, and I sound very monotone and boring, I apologize, but I'm just, I haven't had a drink yet, I haven't, uh, <laughs> I haven't had a drink, I haven't done anything, I'm, I, I haven't done anything other than get up and make this video, and slip some clothes on and stuff, yeah, too much information, too much, uh, Uncharted, so yeah, there's Uncharted, this guy at three, which is awesome. Well, I don't like Disgaea 3 that much, but again, I'm a Disgaea fan, so I bought it. Resonance of Fate. I haven't actually played this. I want to give, like, 10 hours dedicated to this game so I can get used to it, so I can actually sit down. I'm just going to take a day and play it, because it's one of those games that has a, a hard mechanic to understand from what I'm told. So I really want to get into it one of these days. Star Ocean The Last Hope International. Um, I have the original Star Hosh and The Last Hope on Xbox, and I only bought it because at the time I didn't have a PS3, but when this game went down in price, I couldn't say no, and I got a wedding gift or something, like a gift card, and I used it to buy that, so I was on a big Square Enix trip, too. Um, Final Fantasy XIII, again, this game is uh, very walk-you-through hand-in-hand, and I've had it since 2010, and I've never really played it. I bought it for 30 bucks, and it was like two months after its release, which was like insane, because the game never went down for a long time. Soul Calibur 4 Collectors, I am not a fan of Soul Calibur 4. I personally think Soul Calibur 2 is the best, but Soul Calibur 4 is still a fun game. It's fun. It's not a good game. It's just a fun game. That's really all I could say about that. I'll have more thoughts and input on it later. I mean, I play it, but yeah. I bought the collectors uh, for fifteen dollars off a friend of mine. GameStop wanted to give him eleven. I said I'll give you fifteen. And I dog that, <laughs> I dog that employee, and I don't think he's too happy when I told him I gave him fifteen bucks. The DOA four. I'll probably have something for that. I've had this. This is the first game I got for Xbox. I got no. I bought GTA 4 actually first, and I bought this like the next day, but yeah, DOA 4, on launch the Xbox, great game. Can't wait for DOA 5, which comes out four or five days before my birthday. 
So, yeah, you guys know what you can get me. You can get me DOA 5. I'm just kidding. I don't do DOA, but anyway. Soul Calibur 4. I took it out because I was playing it, obviously. Well, of course, I know I just take it out of the box because it just, I, I just love Yoda's ears. I mean, look at those ears. Halo 3, which is like Halo. It plays like crap now. I don't care for Halo anymore. Uh, back in 2010, before I started playing Battlefield, uh, like Battlefield religiously, um, I liked Halo. I thought it was a fun online game. I'm sure it's not bad, it's just... It just plays bad now. It just plays way too noobish. Like, it's like a first shooter, kids shooter, or whatever. DOA Extreme 2. I got that off a friend when I was starting to get Xbox games in 2008. Got it for real cheap. I got this and COD 2, and uh, which I didn't really want, and uh, SVR 08, which I really just wanted this and SVR 08. I got them all for 20 bucks, which was nice. Rumble Roses, and a premiere video. This place out of business, so it's not like you can really troll it because it's not premiere video anymore. But uh, Rumble Roses XX, um, yeah. I made a thing that I bought today. I think I it's in there. And I uh, really don't have anything to say. I've never really played it that much. Pretty much bought it because it was a fan service game and it was cheap. Uh, Tekken 6, you guys all know what I think. And yeah, you guys probably came here from my channel from this. Bullet Witch with the flipped out cover. There's actually the original cover on the inside, but I flipped it around. As you can see, there's no rating because it's a flipped cover. And on the back, it's got the stuff that should be on the inside of the case, but I flipped it because I didn't like looking at the yellow case. I was like, let's look at the blue case because it looks better. So. And I wanted to play the bonus missions, so yeah. And the final game I have laying here is SVR 2007, which a million of you have requested on my Facebook fan page, PMs in the SVR 2006 game, and I will get to it, I'm sure, eventually. Um, I wanted to wait till I got an HD capture card, but I'm probably not going to do that. But I've got so many playthroughs on my plate right now, I don't want to do this yet. But I, I'm sure I will at some point, and I'm sure you'll all love me forever. Love me a long time. So, whatever, I'm tired of putting side jokes in and that are unfunny. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if I should set this back up or just focus it on something. I'll focus it on the television and finish wrapping this up. So anyway, uh, there's the game, and it's all, like, cool and such, and sucker just got pumped. So, anyway, um, that's really all I had to say. Um, I just have to clean this up a little bit and move some stuff. I'm, I'm going to be moving a shelf in here to put my games on, but we just haven't cleared off the shelf because I have DVDs. It's in the other room, and there's a whole bunch of DVDs on it, and... I mean, I don't want to move all those DVDs off, you know, they're not mine, they're my stepdad's, and I don't really want to get into his stuff, you know, it's not really mine, I don't really want to take things that are already his, so, I've just been kind of messing around with this idea, I just have things stacked right now, trying to get a shelf to put them on, but, uh, yeah, that's really all I had to say, I am going to get videos coming soon, it's just... I have to take time to move stuff off my hard drive and everything else. Also, there's my external hard drive if I didn't show it to you before. But anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say, guys. I will catch you all later with some more videos. Thanks for watching.